I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on ratios. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of the Dat Destroyer book and the creator of the Orgoman products. We're going to do some more word problems today. I think you're going to enjoy it with Professor Blois and it's going to be on ratios. This will give you a good idea what to expect on the actual DAT exam and when you go to practice in the Math Destroyer books. All right, Professor, if you do the honors first. Professor Blois here. This is uh, two problems on ratios. We're going to do a slightly different approach for each. Let's read the first problem. In a college, two-thirds of the females and four-sevenths of the males take organic chemistry. If there are 70% as many males as females at the college, what fraction of the students take organic chemistry? Well, we're looking for a ratio. Okay, so the ratio we're looking for is the number of males taking organic chemistry plus the number of females taking organic chemistry uh, over the total number of males plus females. So let's start collecting our data. Uh, Two thirds of the females uh, and are, are taking organic, organic, organic chemistry, so I know that two-thirds of the females take organic chemistry and four-sevenths of the males take organic chemistry if there are 70% as many males as females. So that means the number of males is going to be uh, 70%, 0.7 times the females. If we put everything in terms of fractions, let's write this as seven-tenths of the females. Okay, so here's our basic formula. Here's the ratio we're looking for. The total number of males taking organic plus the total number of females taking organic. And we have that over here. Uh, let's uh, rewrite this as the number of males taking organic is equal to 4 sevenths M. Number of females taking organic is 2 thirds of F, the, the female population, divided by M plus F. Okay, let's take this further. We have two variables. We, we need to uh, substitute for one of them. The number of males is equal to 7 tenths the number of females. So let's just replace the M, the value of the males, with 7 tenths female. Okay, so instead of 4 sevenths M, we have 4 sevenths of 7 tenths of F plus 2 thirds of F divided by, and once again in the denominator, instead of writing M, we're going to write 7 tenths of F plus F. So that means we have the expression in terms of one single variable. I think you can see if you factor F out of the numerator and factor F out of the denominator, the value F cancels out and we're just left with fractions to simplify. So we have 4 sevenths times 7 tenths plus 2 thirds, and in the denominator, denominator 7 tenths plus 1. So all the, the, all the variables cancel out, now we're just left with, uh, uh, as I say, fractions. So let's see, the 7 is going to cancel out. Uh, 4 over 10 gives me 2 over 5, and we have 2 fifths plus 2 thirds divided by 1 and 7 tenths, is equal to 17 over 10. So this is 17 over 10. All we have to do is simplify this expression and we have the answer. So let's see, how do we simplify a complicated expression like this, a complex fraction? We take a look at all the internal fractions. We find the LCD between 5, 3, and 10. What's that going to be? 30. So let's multiply all through, let's multiply every term in the numerator by 30 and every term in the denominator by 30. What do we get? 5 into 30 goes 6, 6 times 2 is 12. Um, 3 into 30 goes 10, 10 times 2 is 20. And in the denominator, 10 into 30 goes 3 times, 3 times 17 is 51. And our answer is 32 over 51. There's the fraction we're looking for. Okay, very similar problem here in the second problem, but we're going to be doing it by a completely different approach. Well, similar approach. Let's read it together. In another college, three-fifths of the females and seven-tenths of the males take biology. If there are 70% as many males as females at the college, what fraction of the students are taking biology? Well, okay, all we're looking for is a ratio. Same thing, males taking bio plus females taking bio over 
the total population of males plus females. Now, what's the difference between the way I'm going to approach this? Notice what the denominators are here. Three-fifths, the denominators are 5 and 10, and I have percentage, which means out of 100. Since I have numbers which are nicely divisible into uh, dividing into 100, I can make up a problem. I can start making up a, an artificial number uh, to represent the number of males and females. There are 70 percent as many males as females. Well, let's say I make up this number. Let's say F is equal to 100. The number of males is 70 percent of that, so I can say M is equal to 70. Okay, terrific. Well, I know that the number of males taking bio is equal to what? Uh, 7 tenths uh, of the uh, males, 7 tenths of 70, which is equal to uh, 49. And the number of females taking bio is equal to three-fifths of the females. Well, since there are 100 females, that means three-fifths of 100, and I know that's going to be equal to 60. Okay, our problem is pretty much solved. We go back to our basic fraction here. The number of males taking bio is 49. The number of females taking bio is 60. And the sum of males plus females is 100 plus 70, or I should say 70 plus 100. So the answer that we're looking for is 109 over 170. There's our ratio. Now the why, you may ask, why didn't we adopt this approach for the previous problem? Well, I, I adopted this approach in this problem because the denominator is 5 and 10 divided into 100 evenly. With the previous problem, the 3 and the 7 did not, so I had to resort to all this the fraction detail that I did. But if you have the opportunity of making up your own numbers and making sure that the numbers are nice and evenly divisible into 100, then this approach is one that's available to you as well. Well, there we are. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a really good problem. The minute I see organic chemistry, I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Let me do one quick question sure. on the blackboard. Oh, yeah. um, since I saw organic chemistry, it puts me in the organic mood. Oh, right. All right, what if I gave you this? If I gave you someone that looks like this, and I wanted you to name something like this. Mm -hmm. Any idea, Professor Bloys? Uh, let's see. Well, we have one hydrogen and then four oxygens, right? Yes, so I would add some hydrogen peroxide and then uh, take a drink of... Uh... All right, stick to the math. <laughs> um, what you're going to do here is you got two different functional groups. The acid group is the highest priority of all groups. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to call this a three, five, di... Oxo. So the ketone group is called oxo, and it's six carbons. It's hexanoic acid. How do you like those apples? I was we just have to, about to say that. We got a 3,5 dioxo hexanoic acid. <laughs> Hopefully, there's no error on that question after doing all this work. So um, I'm assuming that that, look, that looks okay. <laughs> all right, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was a very important problem. And Professor Bloys and I will see you next time for some more word problems. Good day to you. Bye-bye.